Okay, this is going to be a huge dent. Mind you, the tree needs to be started over here. Do you remember? Got it in these piles. Part rate, 181. Time left, 30 minutes. Whee! Hey guys, it has been a minute since I've sat here and talked to you. The last few videos I've uploaded have been more about events and travel. Today's video is going to be about a tree. <laughs> what do I mean by that? So this has been in the queues for about a month now. And uh, I figured I'd go ahead and upload it for you. And then next week or the week after, we'll get back to this nutrition stuff, which I know that you're really like dying to know what's how they're doing this week. Um, and... Uh, I don't mean dying, I'm being dramatic, obviously, but my my health and wellness journey has been something of an entertaining topic to a lot of my friends. Uh, I walk in a room for something having to do with culinary and they'll say, what diet are you on this week? And it's kind of been a running gag for years and years and years because I've always been on this diet health and wellness kick. So anyway, if you are um, looking for information on how high can Heather's heart rate go while trimming a tree, stick around. My name's Heather. This is Traveling Goodness. So welcome to the vlog. Good morning. And it's a Sunday morning. I have to check my mail because I did not do that yesterday. However, we have a project today. Family? What is our project? Okay, I have a text. The project number one is... Read the text. Project number two is... <laughs> I have a tree that has fallen. And I have all the tools here. Safety glasses, check. Fancy gloves, <laughs> check. Oh my God, this reminds me of my project time with Kathy. I miss Kathy. Okay, I'm gonna meet you at the tree. Okay, here's my tree. Uh-oh, I might have to turn. You can't even see it. It's translucent. Here's my tree. Oh, shh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> I just walked past this one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Danger, Will Rogers. Danger. Okay, here's, here's the uh, start of my, uh, my activity of the day. So how am I gonna incorporate this to make this video something that you guys wanna see? Cause I know you're not here to watch me cut down a tree. I'm not gonna cut it down. The damn thing's already down, look. However, it's still in the ground. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm tracking, oh my gosh, 139. And all I did was bring you guys over here in a box over there. That's the extent of it, so. Anyway, let's get started. We're gonna cut down a tray or take off some branches, whatever. Let me set my gloves. I got one of these. Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay, guys. Let's make this happen, okay? You with me? You know, I have those team sports when you're in a huddle. I feel like that's what we're doing. Ready? <laughs> Break. It's gonna be a good story. <laughs> Let me, let me explain my, my strategy because otherwise you guys are going to think I'm an idiot. All of these little prickly ones that are sticking out, no, they're not hard or heavy, but if I don't get those out of the way, this is going to be hell. So they go all the way straight and you can't even see it, but part of the tree's, part of the tree's alive and that's making me a little sad. Those of you that know me know I'm a tree girl. Oh. So, anyway, hang on. Okay, back to the little ones, hang tight.
Okay, you know what's gonna happen? I do not have a lot of space in my phone, but I will keep checking back with you guys. Because I don't want this to stop and time out, and then I can't upload it, so what's the point? All right, back to, back to work. Okay, we are 35 minutes in, heart rate 171. I will show you my progress. Okay, so tree, <laughs> and it may not look like I have a lot done, but here's my pile. So I have to cut the limbs, and as I'm cutting the limbs, yes, I had to take my glove off, I still have my gloves. As I cut the limbs, I have to cut the little prickly ones off. Let me just rest for a minute. I'm gonna have a sit down. Oh, okay. So, you're on a hill. Let me just move you. Sorry. Um, so I have to cut the limbs because my I can see what I'm going for. Let's say I'm going for the big fat trunk, as big as I can get those little plier things to open. When I'm going towards the angle, there's all these little twigs and things that I don't see that are gonna to wanna to just come in and poke me in the eye. Man, this is good for me. 166 and I'm sitting down. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Here's what, here's a, let's just insert some health and wellness into this while, we, while we're cutting trees down. So when you're insulin resistant and your muscles are full of glycogen and your cells are full of fat, <laughs> because the insulin is the key it's the, I'm gonna lock these fat cells up. And you know what? It took me 10 or 15 years to build this up. It's not gonna go away in a week or two or three months of, well, it could go away in three months, but not all of it, unless you absolutely do not eat any food and you just let your body absorb all the stored fat. Another topic. Same topic, another video. So right now, because my insulin is so high constantly, it takes a lot longer for my heart rate to go down because everything has to work harder and every cell in your body has insulin by the way or as my husband says by the by anyway we're gonna finish chopping this tree just thanks for the break thanks for the sit and chat 145 we can do it 145 is my heart rate <laughs> okay back on. Hey guys, all right, time check, 57 and a half minutes, heart rate, 176, tree, still there. I've gotten a lot done. I'm extremely dehydrated right now and I can feel it and I'm parched. And my husband's had to do this a little bit at a time. So I will be calling it a day and uh, Let's see what my, my active calories, 397 and uh, total calories, 41, current heart rate or beats per minute, 160, 155. So it's going down. Uh, I'm gonna wait a total, a total of 60 minutes and then I'm gonna wrap up. So I will just move the rest of these shreddings that I have cut, move them to the back of the yard and uh, 
That's my cardio for the day. See you next time.